Hi kids! Today we will learn how pulleys give us mechanical advantage. So let's start. We now already know what are pulleys and that pulleys can be fixed or movable. Compound pulleys are called block and tackle and is a combination of one or more movable pulleys. Now let's learn more about compound pulleys and mechanical advantage they offer. Here we have two wheels and a rope looped around them. Here, 100 kg weight is equally supported by two pulleys and a very long rope. And because of this setting, you can lift it by pulling with a force of just 50 kg, that is, half the force otherwise required. That is, this compound pulley is giving you a mechanical advantage. Mechanical advantage is the measurement of the extent to which a simple machine multiplies a force. Here, the two pulley system is multiplying the force applied by two. That is, you are applying a force of 50 kg and it is giving you a force of 100 kg. So, the greater the mechanical advantage, the lesser is the force required, but the distance to which the weight has to be pulled down will double. That is, the weight rises one meter here. But now we have to pull the loose end of the rope twice as far. That is by two meters. Now let's see a compound pulley having four pulley wheels. Here we have a compound pulley with four pulley wheels. Here 100 kg weight is equally supported by four pulleys and an even longer rope. This means you can lift it by pulling with a force of just 25 kg. That is one fourth of the force otherwise required. So it's giving you a lot of mechanical advantage. That is, it's multiplying the force applied by you by four. So it's giving mechanical advantage of four. And we learned the bigger mechanical advantage, the lesser the force you need but the greater the distance you have to use that force. That is, to raise the weight by one meter, you have to pull the loose end of the rope by four meters. Now let's see some examples of finding mechanical advantage. Here we have one fixed pulley. That is, where pulley does not move at all and is fixed. And the weight is attached to one end of the rope and the other end is free to be pulled by any person. For pulling or lifting a 50 kg weight, a force of 50 kg is required, so no mechanical advantage is there. That is, this pulley system is not multiplying the force applied by you, but yes, it's just changing the direction in which the force is required to be applied you are applying force downwards, whereas the weight is required to be lifted upwards. Next, we have one movable pulley. That is, pulley is not fixed. One end of the rope is fixed, and the other end is required to be pulled by any person, and pulley is in the center. Here, the weight of the object is equally divided between the pulley and the fixed end of the rope. And in order to lift a weight of 50 kg, 25 kg effort is required. That is, it is giving us a mechanical advantage. Here, the force applied is being multiplied by 2. So, we say mechanical advantage of 2 is there in case of one movable pulley. Next example. Here we have one fixed and one movable pulley. 
that is a block and tackle system. Here, one of the pulleys is attached or fixed to some support, and one pulley is attached to the load. In this case, it takes 25 kg effort to lift 50 kg weight. So, this means the structure is multiplying the applied force by 2, that is, it has mechanical advantage of 2. Now here we have next an example. It is two fixed and two movable pulleys. This is a compound pulley set up. Two fixed pulley wheels are attached to the fixed support and two movable ones are attached to the weight. This setup would take 25 kg effort to lift the weight of 100 kg. That is, it's multiplying the applied force by 4. So it's giving the mechanical advantage of 4. So kids, we learned that the more the number of pulley wheels, the higher the mechanical advantage. Now, let's see some examples of how pulleys are used in our daily life. Here, these cleaners are using the pulley system to hang over like this and cleaning the building. This is a big crane. This too uses pulleys to lift heavy weights. This is a primitive well. Here too, a pulley system is used to pull water from the well. Rock climbing. Here two kids are using the pulley system to hang over and then climbing the rock. Here too, the pulley system is being used to cross over the river valley. So we have a lot of examples where pulleys are used in our daily life. So kids, today we learned about compound pulleys, its types, and their mechanical advantage. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.